Egypt has a broad and vibrant literary scene. Over the last 30 years, this has changed a great deal. The generation of the 1990s, for instance, turned away from politically committed literature in order to write experimental literature. At the beginning of the 2000s, the emergence of bestsellers and cult novels had a huge impact on the literary market. In the aftermath of the 25th January Revolution of 2011, autobiographic fiction became popular, while now new genres, such as horror fiction, are dominating the literary scene. These changes are part of a wider social and cultural transformation in Egypt. In this regard, literature offers its readers ways of making sense of these changes, of shaping them, or of finding refuge from them. How does literature narrate society? And how does society read literature? My name is Christian Junge. I'm a lecturer and researcher at the Center for Near and Middle Eastern Studies at Marburg University in Germany. And I'm a member of the Arab-German Young Academy of Sciences and Humanities. With my interdisciplinary postdoctoral research project, Effective Readings, I approach literature not as a container for ideas, but as an emotional matrix. I ask, what is the social function of reading literature? My project comprises of four elements. Analyzing the role of emotion and affects in literature and society. Approaching fiction at large by bringing highbrow literature in dialogue with popular literature. Focusing on digital readership on social media and taking their readings seriously. And developing a reading together, a post-colonial sensitive approach for conducting research on Egyptian literature and society from Germany. Emotions are produced by social communities, affective constellations and structures of feeling. In this regard, the feeling of a protagonist in a novel says a lot about his or her role in society. Mirala Tahawi's The Blue Aubergine, for instance, follows the anxieties of a rebellious girl and young woman who eventually finds her place in society through writing. Ala Laswani's The Yakubian Building tells the story of an ambitious young man who turns into an angry terrorist. Stemming from recent theories in cultural studies and social sciences, the analysis of emotion and affect is an important way to understand personal agency in relation to social dynamics. But literature does not only describe emotion and affect, but also elicits and navigates feeling. In Egyptian horror fiction, for instance, the reader appreciates getting goosebumps and shuddering as part of an intense experience. Dystopian fiction often provokes shock and fear related to a critique of society. My research project, Effective Readings, analyzes social emotions in literature in conjunction with aesthetic emotions of literature. Thereby, it seeks to understand the social functions of fiction. And fiction means here, literature at large. In order to discern literature with its different aesthetic practices and social uses, it is important to read elitist literature together with popular literature, prize-winning novels and literary blogs, avant-gardist fiction and bestsellers. Take one hour reading as an example, a book series that promised to be read within one hour, just on your way to school or work. The reading progress is illustrated every 15 minutes. Emotions and affects are very differently described and expressed, provoked and navigated in revolution memoirs, experimental novels or horror fiction. Approaching literature at large, my research brings together various literary genres and social readerships of different periods. Let us take the example of young adult literature, Adab al-Shabaab. Most of the Egyptian readers born in the 1970s and 1980s started reading fiction with the serialized novels of Ahmed Khaled Tawfiq. But it was only in the late 2000s that he became famous to a wider audience in Egypt. Now he is a star with a large fan community and his book Paranormal has been adapted as a TV series on Netflix. Readers are so important for the fate of literature. With the emergence of social media, reading communities have become more visible in the public sphere. 
YouTube, Facebook and Goodreads provide new ways of writing about reading. This effectuates new forms of reading. My project approaches these digital reading communities in order to understand the social functions of literature. What, how and why do people read literature? Although I'm used to horror fiction, a young female Egyptian reader confesses, the novel of this guy's for sure make the blood freeze in your veins. What do you want more than horror and suspense? A middle-aged British reader comments on a memoir of the revolution. This inspires and should be read by young people everywhere. It is a testament of youth in these corrupt times. My project evaluates reading communities in social media. Focusing on Egyptian literature from 1990 to 2020, it takes into account its transregional and multilingual readership. Egyptian fiction is often read differently abroad than in Egypt and the Arab world. This challenges European assumptions on the social function of Egyptian literature. بالأكاديمية العربية الألمانية للعلماء الشباب في العلوم والإنسانيات لدي فرصة كبيرة لمناقشة بحثي مع زملائي العرب ففي إطار الدراسات ما بعد الاستعمار يعد تكوين مجموعات بحثية متعددة الثقافات واللغات وسيلة غاية في الأهمية لتقريب صورة العالم العربي بالنسبة لي كباحث ألماني في الدراسات العربية أترك أهمية المناقشة المتعمقة للتحولات التي ترعت على الأدب والثقافة والمجتمع في مصر فما أقوم به مع زملائي الباحثين المصريين هو ما أسميه القراءة المشتركة وهي وسيلة نتشارك من خلالها في تقييم البيانات الميدانية وتحليل النصوص الأدبية. Effective readings seeks to understand the relationship between literature and society. Through the lens of emotion and affect, it analyzes social practices and functions of Egyptian literature in a changing society.